Hey everyone, it is Benicia, your Community Outreach Specialist for the Pasco Sheriff's Office, and today I'm out at Safety Town, which you guys all should know very well considering I did a whole video on Safety Town itself. But I am back with the NMO class 19-2, and they are working on scenarios today to improve their ambush and situational awareness. So I'm gonna show you a bit of that. It's, I know it was supposed to be live or something of the sort, but uh, due to instructor numbers, we are doing it with our simulator. And I actually got to play with it a little bit and it was pretty intense. I did a zombie uh, scenario. Basically feel like I was in The Walking Dead, but stay tuned, let's see what we can get into and let's have a great day. Okay guys and gals, they're gonna explain why today is important for NMO. So today's a scenario-based training. The difference between our seasoned deputies and our new trainees is usually experience. The best way for them to get that experience is to do reality-based training. Sometimes we do the suits and the simulations. Sometimes we put them on the simulator and we can throw a lot of rounds at them. So that's what today is. I was on the simulator, it was great. I did pretty good in my zombie attack. Mm -hmm. You got anything to add? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good stuff. It's, it's good stuff. stuff. We're going to throw a lot of different scenarios at them today. Uh, a whole bunch of traffic stop scenarios, ambush, uh, situation awareness. That's what today's all about, situation awareness and ambush training. Um, we need to expose them to as much as we can before they get out to FTO. Mm -hmm. So we're not taken by surprise. Let's go. So the... the I have traffic stop in bikini, traffic stop, irate driver, traffic stop with the bat. The irate driver first. In the, the lab. The bikini. Cooking up scenarios. The bikini for the second. Okay. See, today's gonna be a great day. Like, I like today's like, I like days like today because I can film, so I'll be filming that way, but also editing for all of you. <laughs> Multitasking. Hey everyone, I have Carter, who is a deputy trainee with the NMO class 19-2, who actually was an explorer for a couple of years. Yes, ma'am. Before coming to PSO. How do you feel about it? Um, I, I'm happy, excited. Um, mm -hmm. I was a, an explorer for a couple of years, so I got a lot of good training from that. Mm -hmm. And it helped me a lot in the academy. and. Uh, so I know a lot of the instructors, which helps a lot too. Do you, would you recommend going to the Explorer program for any like high schoolers or middle schoolers that want to become a law enforcement? Um, definitely, yeah. I okay. mean, it gives you an, an outlook on what it's like. You actually get to see what deputies do on a daily basis. Okay, that's dope. All right, let's run through this scenario. Okay, everyone, say hello to deputy trainee Bo Griffin, who has a pretty dope story. I think so. So say hey to all of our followers. It's the first hey, time everybody you're on here. Out there. Nice to meet you. Okay, tell the people just a little bit of your background before coming to Pasco. Um, my name is Bo Griffin. I come from Winter Garden, which is just outside Orlando. Mm -hmm. I worked at the police department there for about 14 years. Yeah. Uh, I was in the K-9 unit when I left. I was in there for six years, and mm -hmm. luckily they retired my dog to me, Love so he's that. actually at home. That I have a K-9 Mac at home. That he's uh, my best friend and my buddy. Oh, I so. love that. Sorry, that's really cute. <laughs> 
<laughs> so do you have any plans to possibly want to be on a specialty unit with us? Absolutely. Yeah. I uh, definitely want to get back into canine. Canine's where it's at. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing like running behind a dog and bringing your best friend that. to work. Um, and he's there for you. He's your backup. Mm -hmm. He'll give his life for you. And in turn, I'd give my life for my dog just to protect him as well. I absolutely love that. So guys, someone who knows a thing or two about the canine unit and wants to get back into the canine unit. Best job in law enforcement. Just saying, a year from now, a year and a half, we may see what at that point probably k9 26 27 at this rate Absolutely. who knows all right thanks <laughs> Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed what you got to see today for uh, situational and ambush awareness training with the scenarios of the NMO class. So if you haven't already liked this video, like it, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.